Oh. Here I have Similac Pro Total Comfort. My daughter, a bottle in one ginormous math problem. I want to thank all you people who are hoarding the formula. Why? That's why I have to do this math problem. You are the problem, but that's a different story. In this container, we have 630 grams of powder. I need 25.2 grams of Similac Pro Total Comfort. Again, not a sponsor. To mix with one bottle of water. If we feed my daughter one bottle of formula per day, how long will my Similac Pro Total Comfort last? All right, to solve this word problem, we're gonna use a word problem strategy called Sides Check. If you don't know what it is, check out our link up here. Check out the awesome song. The first part is a statement. So I'm gonna write a statement for the question we're trying to answer, which is the container will last blank days. Now, typically, I would have my students identify on the paper in front of them and circle the key information. But because we're in quarantine, and I can't get paper to you. And also, there is no paper left anymore because those crazy people at Walmart and Costco and Sam's Club and Harris Teeter and Publix and all those other places have been taking all the toilet paper. So now people are taking the paper to use as toilet paper, which cannot feel good at all. And we have no paper left to do math. So here at Quarantine Math, we're doing it on the computer. Because I can't identify, because of those crazy people with leaving me with no paper, I'm going to write down what was important. So I had 630 grams total in my container. I know that I was going to use 25 and 2 tenths grams per bottle. And I was going to do one bottle per day. This is my important information I would have identified. Now I'm going to develop a plan. At Quarantine Math, we use tape diagrams to do that. If you don't know what those are, check out our awesome video or find one on YouTube that you can watch. If you have a different strategy, please feel free to stick with it. You can just check your answer at the end. Whatever you do, make sure you're developing a visual plan before you start to solve it. So I'm going to use my old trusty part whole model here. And I know that there are 630 grams total in the entire container. And I'm taking those and I'm making groups supposed to be equal groups, but apparently I can't write anymore after being in quarantine for only one day, of 25 and 2 tenths grams, okay? And I want to see, oop, I'm going to leave that one blank right there, put a little dot, dot, dot. And every day I did one bottle, right? So the first day, which is today, March 16th, 2020, I'm using 25 and 2 tenths. The next day, tomorrow, I'm going to be using 25 and 2 tenths. The third day, I'm going to be using 25 and 2 tenths. And I'm going to keep doing that till I run out because my baby girl needs a bottle every day. So what I'm trying to do is figure out how many groups of 25 and 2 tenths can I make from 630. The equation that goes with my tape diagram here is going to be repeated addition, which is multiplication. So when I'm doing repeated addition, I'm choosing to read this multiplication sign as groups of. So I'm going to have blank groups of 25 and 2 tenths is, is going to equal 630 grams. Now, some of you are saying you divided to solve this problem. That's absolutely correct because to solve for this missing factor, you do have to rewrite this as a division equation. 630 divided by 25 and 2 tenths will tell you how many days that you need. So at Quarantine Math, when we do division, we like to label our division equation just to make sure we didn't mess up. We have 630 grams, and we're going to divide that into 25 and 2 tenths for each grams for each day. And if my divisor is each day, then my quotient should be days. If you don't understand what I'm saying, please check out our awesome division songs up here. You can click on them. We also have a playlist for division. Check it out, like it, and subscribe, right? Am I right? You can never have too much self-promotion, shameless self-promotion at that, during a quarantine. So, 
listen to Instructor Beats all day, check out our quarantine math all day, and subscribe, please. So now I'm going to be dividing 630 divided by 25 and 2 tenths, and that's going to tell me how many days I'm going to make. Let me get a blank computer. So I'm going to rewrite my math problem up here. I have 630 divided by 25 and 2 tenths, and that was going to give me an amount of days. If you've listened to our number one song, our decimal song, you'll know that when div uh, divisions like magic poof, if it's in the dividend, you raise it to the roof. If it's in the divisor, secret to confide, all you got to do is slide, slide, right? You cannot be, you cannot divide with a decimal divisor, right? So what we want to do is we want to turn it into a whole number by moving my decimal one place value to the right. And whatever you do to the divisor, you also have to do to the quotient. So you move it one place value to the right, and you can add a zero. Really what you're doing is you're multiple, multiplying both of those numbers by 10 to keep your expression balanced. But you can always just take the shortcut here because it's quarantine math, and we make our own rules. So now I have 6,300 divided by 252. Some of you are already saying, whoa, 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 Mr. Butler. That's not a fifth grade math problem. That's sixth grade because it's three digit divisors. Well, check it out. It's quarantine math. I do whatever I want. If you don't like it, don't watch. Unless you're one of my students, then you have to watch, okay? Because even though it's quarantine, I will come to your house to make sure you're doing it. So what I teach in my classroom is to make an easy multiple sheet. Again, if you want to check it out, check out our division playlist up here. Watch the one about making an easy multiple sheet. And so all I'm doing right here is I'm going to use addition to help me do my multiplication steps, right? And so I'm just going to keep adding over here. And I'm going to get a 504, okay? And that's the second group. I'm going to add another group here. 756. And I'm going to stop right there for a second. Now my steps for my standard algorithm, how many groups multiply, subtract, bring down? If your teacher taught you to do D here, that is stupid. Yes, I said it. Teachers make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. It's quarantine math. I might not have to see anybody again, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you that's dumb. Because how could you, inside a division problem, tell you that one of your steps is division? That makes no sense. The correct step is how many groups. Okay, You're not dividing. Why would you divide in a division problem to help you understand what you're doing? That's like saying the definition of an Easter egg is an Easter egg. Okay, well, that didn't help me at all. All right, that was just a quick thought. I don't know where that came from. All right, anyway, how many groups? So how many groups of 252 can fit into six? That is zero. All right, so now I go to my next place value. How many groups of 252 goes into 63? Again, zero. Yes, you do need to put the zeros here. Okay, it's going to help your place values line up so you understand What's going on? Now, how many groups of 252 going to 630? I can't fit three, so I'm going to use two. Okay, so that's my first step. How many groups? Two. When I multiply 252 to times two was 504. That's why I did all my um, thinking up front with my easy multiple sheet. So now I don't have to worry about multiplying. My next step, subtract. If you don't know how to do the standard algorithm of division, please check out our, our awesome standard of division standard algorithm of division song up here that'll be great all right so zero minus four can't do that more on the floor go next door get 10 more i have six that's two i'm left with 126 and now i need to bring down my zero so now i have 1260 i got to keep going here okay so i'm going to keep going until i either get to nine or i get to something that's going to fit right um the the, the most amount that's going to fit so that's going to be my fourth group. So now I'm going to add one, um, another, oops, there we go, 252. And oh my lanta, look at that. It fits perfectly. How many groups of 252 can fit into 1,260? That's five. When I multiplied by doing my repeated addition, I got 1,260. I'm going to subtract. And oh look, I get nothing left over. And my answer is... My baby daughter's formula is going to last 25 days if I have 630 grams and I'm using 25 and 2 tenths grams each day. Please check us out tomorrow on Tuesday, March 17th. 
for our next quarantine mass. We'll be coming out with one of these every single day until we get to leave because I ain't got nothing else to do. And I'm trying to avoid my three-year-old son because he keeps hitting me and he's pulling my beard and he's, he's, he's just not making good choices and I blame his mother for that, all right? But don't tell her I said that because we're in quarantine together and that will not go over well. All right, anyway, keep that. That's between us, okay? Please check us out tomorrow for our next quarantine video. Please like and subscribe as well. Share with all your friends because I'm sure they ain't got nothing else to do, all right? And this is an easy way for you to tell your parents you did math so you can go play video games. Stay safe, do math, I'm out.